Hello my friends. In the past 10 years, American agriculture has constantly improved in terms of technology and farming processes to improve labor productivity as well as creating maximum profits. In today's video, we're going to go back about 10 years and go to farms in the United States to see how they harvested agricultural products at the time. The first place we are going in this video is a cotton farm in Texas. And this is the cotton harvest that took place in 2011. Basically, cotton harvesting machines have not changed much in appearance over the past 10 years. The biggest change is the harvesting capacity of these machines. In 2011, Texas had about 7.7 .7 million acres of farmland used to produce cotton and by 2021, cotton acreage has dropped to just about 5.3 million acres. In 2011, the impact of the drought resulted in Texas yielding only about 5.1 million bales of cotton. Meanwhile, the state's cotton production in 2021 has increased to 7.7 .7 million bales. It can be seen that although the cultivated area has decreased a lot, the cotton yield in Texas has increased steadily over the past 10 years. This is the process of harvesting in a sugar beet field in Michigan in 2013. Today, these beet harvesting machines are still used in large fields in Michigan. However, their harvest capacity has increased by about 25% compared to 10 years ago. In 2013, Michigan had about 147,000 acres of land used for sugar beet production and a yield of 3.9 million tons. Through 2021, sugar beet acreage in Michigan is 167,000 acres, and the yield is about 5.7 million tons, up by about 68% from 10 years ago. For many years now, Michigan has always been one of the states with the largest sugar beet production in the country with about 1.2 billion pounds produced each year. This is the process of harvesting billions of grapes that took place in the Alexander Valley in 2010. Basically, harvesting in California 10 years ago was not very different from the way it is harvested today. Most of the grapes here are still picked by workers from Mexico. Perhaps the largest change is that the wages of grape harvesters have doubled from 10 years ago. Grape pickers in California typically earn about $13 an hour. In 2010, the vineyard area in California was 531,000 acres. By 2022, the area under viticulture in the state has increased by 40% to 881,000 acres, accounting for 96% of the vineyard area in the country. The next place we will visit in this video is a sugarcane farm in Louisiana. And this is the cane harvest that took place in 2013. In 2013, the cane acreage in Louisiana was around 409,000 acres, and by 2021, the state's sugarcane acreage has increased to 493,000 acres. Today, the sugarcane harvesters used in the United States can operate 
2.3 times faster than the harvesters used 10 years ago. According to the USDA statistics, in 2021, cane production in Louisiana is 16.9 million tons. Meanwhile, sugarcane production in the state in 2013 was only 13.1 million tons. Basically, in recent years, the area of sugarcane production in the United States has not increased much. But sugarcane production has always grown at 4% per year. This is due to improved sugarcane productivity and labor productivity in sugar mills. This is the 2011 onion harvest in the state of Texas. In 2011, the area of land used to produce onions in Texas was about 13,000 acres. And by 2022, the area under onion cultivation has increased to 17,000 acres. The main difference is the process of harvesting onions in California. In the past 10 years or so, the majority of onions in Texas have always been harvested by machines. In California, they mainly use workers from Mexico. This onion harvesting machine is currently only used on small farms. For large-scale onion farms, harvesting machines with more than two times the productivity have been used. We are currently in a cucumber field in Florida, and this is the 2015 harvest. According to a USDA report, in 2015 in Florida, 17,000 acres of farmland were used to grow cucumbers. And by 2021, due to the high demand for cucumbers, the area planted of this fruit in Florida has increased to 21,000 acres. Today, the process of harvesting cucumbers on most Florida farms remains the same as it was 10 years ago. The cucumber harvesting machines haven't changed much over the years. The last place we are visiting in this video is a carrot farm in the state of California and this is the 2013 Carrot Harvest. Just like the cucumber farms in Florida, the technology of harvesting carrots has not changed much over the years in California. Most of the old harvesters are still in use. Along with that, thousands of migrant workers also flock to California farms to pick carrots each year. Over the past 10 years or so, California's carrot acreage hasn't changed much and it has always remained steady at 61,000 acres. Each year, California farmers harvest about 1.3 million tons of carrots, accounting for 88% of the country's carrot production. Hello my friends. Today, we are going to some large fields in the United States to see how great agriculture in this country produces billions of tons of food. In recent years, major food crops grown in the United States include soybeans, corn, potatoes, wheat, sweet potatoes, and barley. Currently, the United States only imports 20% of the food it consumes because its agriculture can produce a large amount of food for the entire country. Here's what's going on in a warehouse near a soybean farm in Minnesota. These farmers are preparing billions of soybean seeds to start a new crop. According to statistics in 2021, soybeans are grown in 15 states across the country, of which Illinois, Iowa and Minnesota 
are the states with the largest soybean growing areas. After billions of soybean seeds have been prepared, this tractor will be used to sow the seeds. Its task is to sow about 128,000 seeds per acre. Each year in Minnesota, about 7.7 .7 million acres of farmland are used to produce soybeans. Meanwhile, soybean growing areas across the country account for 88.3 million acres. These are two week old soybean plants. The time from sowing seeds to harvesting soybeans usually lasts about 85 days. Basically, soybeans are a very easy plant to cultivate. The main task of the farmers here is usually spraying herbicides and fungicides and providing enough water for soybean plants to grow. This is a field of soybeans more than two months old and they are only about two weeks away from the harvesting process. In Minnesota, most soybeans are grown in counties like Wasika, Nobles and Nicolay. After nearly three months since seeding, everything here is ready to start a new harvest season. Thousands of harvesters and workers will flock to the soybean fields to work. In 2021, soybean production in Minnesota is about 356 million bushels or 21.3 billion pounds. Meanwhile, soybean production across the country is 4.4 billion bushels. Currently, Illinois is the state with the largest soybean production in the country with 672 million bushels, accounting for 16% of the national production. Iowa is also a major soybean producer with 494 million bushels or 11% of production. In the United States, up to 79% of soybeans are used for animal feed, with poultry being the largest consumer of soybeans. In addition, the country also exports about 1.7 billion bushels of soybeans per year, with an export value of about $26 billion. Next, we'll go to a field in Michigan to see how billions of bushels of corn are cultivated and harvested here. The end of April every year is the time when the sowing process takes place in this cornfield. This giant machine is used to sow about 34,000 seeds per acre. In 2021, in Michigan, about 2.25 million acres of farmland will be used to grow corn. Meanwhile, the total corn area in 2021 in the United States is about 96.3 million acres. This is a one month old cornfield. Currently, each acre of corn in the United States needs about 600,000 gallons of water over its lifetime. Most corn varieties today need about 100 to 115 days to be harvested. According to statistics from the United States Department of Agriculture, Iowa is the state with the largest corn growing area in the country with 12.9 million acres. In second place is Illinois with 11 million acres. Almost four months after seeding, millions of corn plants in this field are ready to be harvested. Dozens of agricultural machines and trucks will be moved here to work. In recent years, the United States has always been the largest producer of corn kernels in the world, with about 15.1 billion bushels per year, accounting for 34% of global corn production. The states with the largest corn production in the United States are Iowa 
with 2.7 billion bushels, Illinois with 2.2 billion bushels, and Nebraska with 1.7 billion bushels. Currently, 45% of corn kernel production in the country is used for animal feed. 44% is converted to ethanol, and just 10% is used for food. This is the ongoing harvest of a wheat field in Kansas State. Mid-June is the time when the harvest takes place in most of the wheat farms in Kansas. According to data in 2022, the wheat area in Kansas is 7.6 million acres, which is also the state with the largest wheat area in the country. Currently, nationwide, 37.7 million acres of agricultural land are used to grow wheat and the yield is 1.65 billion bushels. After harvesting, billions of bushels of wheat will be transported by truck to warehouses for storage. 